Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Football View. If you are new here, you know what to do, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Today we'll be talking about Kotoko's 2-0 defeat against Shrimps FC yesterday. We'll be talking about that, I'll be, talk I'll be giving you 5 things I learned in that particular game. You know, the fans were complaining, the fans are complaining that it was a disappointing result. Kotoko have lost 2 away games in a row for the first time since 2021 when they lost to um, House of Oak and Mediama. So I'll be giving you five things I learned from that game. So if you're new here, subscribe and hit the notification bell. The first thing we'll talk about here is Kotoko have no away plan. They have no game plan for away games. You can see that the same idea Sid Zebo deploys at home games is the same idea he wants to replicate away from home. Now we know that officiating away from home this season has been shambolic. We know that the pitch away from home has been shambolic. Those are the factors that will make you change your game plan for away games. Prosmanate did it last season. Injuries, uh, referee calls. We have. It's not the season that bad referee calls started happening. We Kotoko had bad referee calls last season and the previous season. Prosmanate knew that this is what this this is what we are going to expect when we travel away from home, and that is why he set the team in a compact way. He tells them don't concede don't concede last season it was very difficult to score against Kotoko away from home don't concede then keep the shape of the team and you eventually get your goal or probably if you get a draw no problem we'll go home and work hard to get a win in next away game for Kotoko this season they don't have that same mentality Kotoko go into a game with the same mentality they play at home not knowing that the atmosphere is different the venue is different officiating will be different the pitch will be different they don't think about all these things they just go into the game the way they have been playing at home they get the ball they play the up ball the long balls and give to mukwala to run it's like repeating the same thing over and over again expecting to get the result now the medium away game was um, a very individual brilliance from nicolas menza and we actually got that goal since then we haven't seen anything close to that performance from Asante Kotoko. The, old, the closest one we saw was Eduana uh, uh, Stars away from home. That was defending, 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 defending or two. We barely had the opportunity up front to score them. Against Dreams FC Kotoko had opportunity to score goals. They couldn't take it. They have no away plan. They play the way uh, they play at home. I keep seeing it because if you have an away plan, you make sure that once you have an opportunity, you make sure that you focus and take them. That is the problem Kotoko has had. One of the problems I noticed from that James FC game, Kotoko have no specific away plan. And that is one of the reasons they lost against James FC. Know that the referee, the officiating is going to be poor, the pitch is going to be poor. If we have an opportunity, we should take them. If they have these things in their head, you just make up your mind that we are going there against all odds. Any opportunity we have, we prioritize um, set pieces and all that. Kotoko will start winning away games, but so far, Seydou Zebo has not learned anything. He has not learned anything. If you look at all the press conference uh, after all Kotoko away defeat or draw, he keeps repeating the same thing. The team here is not the team of last season. The team here is not the team of last season. Yes, I understand, but you see the chances, you see the style of play, it is not encouraging. So, the first thing I learned from that first game, that game against James FC, is that Kotoko have no definite away game plan. Then, the second thing I noticed was that Kotoko defense slept through the two goals we conceded against James FC. The first goal was shocking. That was a shocking defending from Kotoko. I mean, the player just had the opportunity to run out only him. And just score the goal it was shocking i tell you it was shocking i was i thought it was an offside because i thought they were doing the offside trap but i saw that no one spotted the player andrew sepeo i think it was andrew sepeo or another player the player just left and had the opportunity to just have the ball inside and score there's nothing that Andy Ibrahim could do about that there's nothing he can do i don't think it's anything if a goalkeeper saves that it's going to be an incredible save probably save of the season but there's nothing a goalkeeper can do in that situation the defenders failed him and he had no other option than to just you know watch as the player just played the ball in the second goal too they just breezed past and had the opportunity to meet Dana Ibrahim again one-on-one -on -one situation and score the goal that is it Kotoko defense slept through if you are going for an away game and you know that 
the atmosphere is going to be hostile. You have to be compact at the bank and the midfield and in attack. Or to flag that yesterday, the defense yesterday was shocking and disgraceful. That is the second thing I learned from that game against James FC. Kotoko defense was shocking and disgraceful. The third thing I learned from that game is that Kotoko couldn't take the chances. You see Mukwala, Enoch Morrison, uh, Naughty, Rashid Naughty. You can see how everyone is trying their best to score. And everyone tries to get long shots and all that. The attitude of the attackers in away games have been very, very shocking too. I know the goalkeeper had a very, very good game yesterday, but most of the ball that have been played to him most of the efforts were like it was gifted to him play straight at him simple save and all that i think away game attitude of the attack defense midfield everything has to change there's there are several instances where kotoko um a midfield would be very very disjointed from the attack everybody would just clamp one side and the other side would be free and the op opposition will use the opportunity to counter attack and create chances eventually score a goal so Kotoko attack needs to work hand in hand with the midfield if they are going to score goals because Kotoko have not scored in their last two away games this season. I think they have scored about three, three or four goals in their last six away games. Three goals, I think, in the last six games. The attack are not doing well. If they work hand in hand with the midfielders, they will start scoring goals. But so far, they have not been working with the midfielders. So I think the attitude of the attack, Kotoko attack in away games, have not been working so far they are not gelling so far and i think it's something that needs urgent attention at home no problem but away from home it's as if the spirit comes over them and they don't play the way they forget about the performance they put out at the Babaya stadium when they play away games that is how it is you'll be like what is happening so i think if these players work hand in hand with the midfielders you get run if this player gets the ball you know that you're supposed to run work with themselves i think kotoko will start scoring goals away from home so the third thing i learned is the attack the attack are not playing very well and they are not working hand in hand with the midfield then the fourth thing i learned in that particular 2-0 defeat against dreams fc i think zay Zebo is just waiting for the outcome of the game and he's just you know program his responses to why Kotoko lost the game or why Kotoko didn't win a game. He has been using injuries, injuries, injuries as an excuse so far this season. Now the injuries were there when Kotoko are winning home games. Kotoko played very well at home. Why isn't he talking about the injuries and all that affecting the team when they score four goals, three goals, five goals? Why is the injury only affecting Kotoko away from home? That is the issue. Kotoko suffered injuries in their last season, the previous season, under uh, Mariano Beretto, under Prosperanati and all that. But, you know, you make use of the players you have. The, the excuses are too much. The excuses are too much. Because if Kotoko keep on relying on the players, giving the injury player, okay, we can't play very well because we have players injured. They won't achieve anything. So, Seidu Zebo has to make use of the player at his disposal and get the best out of them. Complaining every time about injuries, 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 it won't help because we know that all players can be fit at once. Same thing with Prosperate last season. When Kotoko won the league, Prosperate had players out injured. Rihanna Bereto too, when he was performing, getting away results, the club had players injured too. So using injuries as excuse all over and over again in almost all the away post-match press conference, it's not helping because if it continues, Kotoko will continue losing games if he keeps on saying that the team are not playing well because players are injured. Kotoko have had um, quality players against Jim FC in the pitch. We have Rich Molamte, Zeze at the uh, on the bench. We had uh, several players. Okay, apart from Yusuf Mubarak, who is a commanding presence in the centre back, but Sheriff Mohammed is back from the Black Alas. He played very well away from home and even kept a clean sheet against Accra Lions. So injuries complaining Zedo Zebo complaining about injuries should stop he should start making use of the players at his disposal and bringing out the best from them that is what fans expect from Zedo Zebo so he should stop using injuries as an excuse that is the fourth thing I learned then the final thing is that if Kotoko don't change the attitude of their players and their away games because I don't see any leadership I don't see any you know commanding 
um, presence in the team. You see, the captain handband keeps on changing. It was it was at Richard Boydou, then George Mfring, and as at Dan Lad. There's no leadership. I don't think there's any leadership or any, any presence in the team that shows that this player are committed and they are fighting to get a result for the club and all that. There's no leadership in that particular team. In away games, as home, well, obviously, they know that if they lose, that the fans will descend on them. That is why they play very well and that is why they are motivated to play. But they, they feel that away from home, when fans is not here, the pressure is off. That is why they just play anyhow away from home. That is the main reason because of are not playing anywhere. So there's nobody there. There's no leader like when uh, we have um, Wahab Adams, Abdul Ghani, Felix Anand. There's no leader there in the team to tell them that, see, we are playing away from home. This is Asante Kotoko. We win our games at home. We win away games and all that. There's nobody there to tell them that this is what is required of you. And that is why Kotoko are struggling away from home. So if Say Zebo sort out these five things I've learned, I've mentioned here in this video, Kotoko will start getting positive results away from home. I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think about the five points I've raised so far? Is it, is it the same as yours? Put out the conversation and tell me what you think. I think that's all for today. Subscribe if you haven't and click the notification bell. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.